Well, that's a different way to start an eFix video. Me with the fire safety stick, putting out a simulated fire within an electrical enclosure, but whoop, let's just stop you there. As always, in the event of finding a fire, the first thing you should do is raise the alarm, evacuate the building, and only tackle the fire if safe to do so. And if you use the fire safety stick, this can tackle fires class A, B, C, electrical fires, and class F as well. What did I do to activate it? Well, what I did was, and it's not easy to do it accidentally, but it is easy to do it in the event of a fire. I removed the top cap, and you can see the point there, which I need to activate. I removed the bottom cap, got the activator there, and struck across the two in order to launch the material out. When I did that, I needed to hold onto the handle, okay, and point it at the base of the fire. The material coming out of here, which is in the description below for those chemists who want to work out what's inside it, is actually removing the oxygen from the fire. Let's think about the traditional fire extinguisher that we might be using. One of these we've probably got attached to the back of our van or maybe at home. This is a dry powdered fire extinguisher. This can tackle class A, B, C and electrical fires. However, there is required maintenance on this type of fire extinguishers and often needs to be refilled. Well, you don't need to do that with a fire safety stick. The fire safety stick requires no maintenance, no service and no refills. And also the material when it cuts out the fire causes no residue or damage to things such as paintwork. However, our dry powder fire extinguisher, it's often been said that the damage from the powder left behind did more damage than the fire in the first place. Let's talk about fire extinguishers discharge time. This one kilogram dry powder fire extinguisher here will discharge all of that powder within six or seven seconds. The fire extinguisher we've seen me use today has a 25 second discharge time. So it lasts considerably longer in order to put out the fire. They do two other versions as well. They do one at 50 seconds, ideal for cars, keep it in your car glove box for car fires, as well as one that's for 100 seconds, ideal for maybe large boats or motorhomes, etc. So just bear that in mind, the discharge time of a traditional fire extinguisher, four, five, six, seven seconds. However, we've got a minimum discharge time to put out the fire here on the fire safety stick of 25 seconds. Another point worth noting is the dry powder fire extinguisher here, it's not recommended it's let off in confined spaces. However, the fire safety stick is non-toxic, it's environmentally friendly and fully recyclable. So therefore, if you're looking to select a fire extinguisher for your van or toolbox, maybe it's the fire safety stick, the one for you.